What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video. My name is Naleen and I am a dairy farmer and goat rancher from Saskatchewan, Canada. If you didn't already know. <laughs> I'm just here in my garage right now. And... Not last video, but the video before I ended with Whimsy saying hi. And yes, this is indeed Whimsy. And she is indeed looking very good. She has grown like crazy. It's very hard to believe that when I first saw this goat, she was essentially dead because she was in the sack. But yeah, she is doing very, very well. Bit of a stinker, but that's what most bottled baby goats are. They are stinkers. <laughs> hey? Yeah? Say hi to the YouTube. I don't eat the YouTube though. <laughs> Silly. She's having at some minerals here. It's her second day trying to eat those. Just figuring everything out. Yeah, sweetie. Something that I have been working hard on the last couple of days is trying to set up a goat pasture. You can see here I have 18 foot across over there and then down here is 48 feet across and then what I really want to do is go from this post just kind of directly that way into the trees a little bit but I have run into a small problem as the end of that row kind of <laughs> comes between a couple of trees here. So what I want to do is saw some of these down. Unfortunately, I love trees, but I'd like to include part of this row of trees in that pasture. Now, I know that goats have a deep love for eating trees, but this pen is going to be mainly for just my Nigerian goats and then young boar goats that need a little extra TLC. So they're not going to do the damage that a big group of boar goats would do, hopefully. So I just really want to include some natural cover and some natural, you know, things for them to play on because it's really good for their health and their well-being and their mental stability. I think goats that are in a pen without stuff to play on are bored goats. So that's also something that I got to work on with my corrals so that they have something to do. And eventually I'd love to paint everything so that it looks nice and clean and crisp. But everything in good time. So I'm out here by the corrals again. That is Maple and Gemma. Gemma's got a very full udder going. Payette is due next month. Gemma's due next month. Actually, just kidding. In like two weeks. So Gemma is due in two weeks. Payette on the end there is due in two weeks. Rosetta here is due in two weeks. And yeah. Hey, you're a funny girl. Rosetta's so weird. Yeah, you are. That was aggressive. I saved this one almost two years ago now. She got herself stuck in a feeder and she's also uttering up pretty good. She's also due in two weeks. So we've got some more baby goats to look forward to, hopefully. Pioneer, Shine. So Cupid is over there. Maple is right here. She's actually bouncing back fairly well. And it was nice weather until about 30 seconds ago, I guess. This spring is a wild one to be sure. Go back. <laughs> This 2508 has a little bit of spring fever, it looks like. Oh, man. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Everybody calm down. She's going for another loop. There she goes again. <laughs> One of those two must be in heat. Sometimes they act a little silly when they're in estrus. So that or it's the rain. Horses get fresh too and it's cooler out. So could be any number of things that's got them going around in circles. <laughs> so I'm done milking cows and the evening chores. We got Fern here. She is very, very close to having her babies. And there's Pixie feeding her babies. I'm still not sure what my mom's named them, so until she's completely made up her mind, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to refrain from uh, saying what they are. But this girl here, she is softening up in the ligaments here, so. And her udder is like a whole handful so she's she's really really close on wednesday i thought for sure yep she's gonna go friday but i think maybe she'll go saturday but yeah she's definitely full when i feel for babies i can feel one very very quickly on either side so i'm thinking she's gonna have at least three which hopefully she has enough milk to feed three <laughs> yeah we're really excited to see what these ones are gonna be. And for color predictions, it's basically a 50-50% chance that it's gonna either be buckskins or blacks. And there's also a 50% chance of blue eyes versus brown eyes or moon spots and no moon spots. So there's potential for some interesting color combinations in there. And the babies are all going to be horned because both parents. I'm in the field now. This is our fall rye, winter rye. Winter rye, I think is the correct term. I just wanted to show you guys how amazingly green this is. Look at that. This rain that we've been getting is absolutely amazing. It's just beautiful. Like this crop is doing so well at this exact moment it's giving us a lot of hope which you know sometimes is a little <laughs> feels like we shouldn't hope after the last three years we've had some pretty bad drought the last three summers because we haven't gotten enough rain but this this crop it looks absolutely amazing it's lush it's so green it's beautiful and this makes us really really excited so this is something that we're really, really looking forward to harvesting. And if the weather continues to be, you know, the way it is, it should grow fairly well. Like, this is an amazing, amazing landscape right now. Like this, ah. <laughs> so we're, we're all excited, we're all hopeful, but you know, a lot could still happen. The big white combine could still come by. We could still get a pretty aggressive night frost. So, you know, we're hoping that this goes well, but still trying to reel it in a little bit so we're not too disappointed if something goes wrong. But like right now, it looks absolutely gorgeous. just finished feeding goats in the corrals and I heard a goat a little too clearly and it's because this little stinker is sitting on top of the kennel where I have the kittens and she's saying hi <laughs> she's not supposed to be there Tinkerbell I guess I have to change where her pen is. Oh well, 
I guess that'll be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like it, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.